All right, so here's the house we're at. It's pretty old. There's Pop Top Antonelli over there. Be careful, there's an electric line that runs under to that tree there, Chuck. If you look at the base of that tree, you'll see that uh, green line going up. So anyway, first hole. I shouldn't say first hole, but I'm very excited. It is a button. Um, it's going to take some cleaning up. It's got a shank on the back. It was down in this hole, so about six inches. So this house was owned by a sea captain, and then later bought by somebody who had 15 children. Jesus Christ, 15 kids! I go crazy. But anyway, so uh, we're excited to do it. It's permission, private property, and uh, that's the first good uh, good button of the day. So uh, we'll get back with you when we get something else. The house. Stand All right, we're over here at a uh, private dig. We got permission for two people to dig. Permission. Permission. Oh, Alright, so we got this. I just found uh, a dime in the ground for a while, but uh, nothing to write home about. But 1837 Homestead. So, should be good. Alright, see you later. Alright, got another target. Another button. Broken shank. Yeah, no real design on it. Doesn't look like anywhere. Not bad. So I'm back in the side yard of this place and uh, I just dug I don't know. It's uh it's got two teeth on it like it would hold a belt. But somebody could help me out on that. I don't know what it is. But it's a brass signal, so it's probably older. Uh, Pop Top just found a nice button on the other side of the house. So no real coins here other than modern stuff. But we have gotten a few buttons. We've gotten a few uh, buckles, uh, which you'll see later too. But, you know, trying to... All right. Well, that's kind of neat. I'll take it. On to the next... There's a doofus. Cherry picking the, pit, the chicken coops. I gotta go get some damn bug spray. I'll be right back. Oh, see, is that a coin? Look at mosquitoes. It's killing me. Oh, it's a button. even turn the camera off. Two steps away I dug this. Seems to be a nice uh, flat button. I, I can't make it out. I don't think it has anything on it but shank's a little banged up on the back but uh, I like it. I think it's just a smooth one though. No design on this one. But uh, hopefully you guys can see that. The sun is freaking bright today. It's hot. I thought it was supposed to be October. So, all right. Well, on to the next. Thanks for watching. Right. Carry ourselves a penny signal. Found one here so far. 68. Nothing. Period. From uh, you know the house, which goes back mid 1800s. This one's come up a penny. little button. Cool. Looks like, uh, I don't know, maybe that's a military. Who knows? It's got an eagle on it. Pretty sweet. All right, finally got our next signal. Still working this side yard. And it looks like another flat button. Plain old flat button. But really good condition. So, still cool. Right on the Molokka River. Uh, sea captain's house, like I said before. So, trying to figure out where the heck he might have buried his silver. Maybe he was a pirate. We don't know. All right, we'll get back with you. All right. Well, another target.
some sort of a button or rivet or something like that. Cool. Oop. Another one maybe? Alright, so I got something here. Thought it was gonna be another piece of trash, but not sure what it is, but uh, I think it's some kind of brooch. It's got that little ball in the middle. I don't know. It's reading silver on the E track, but it could be brass, I have no idea. I'm gonna have to clean it up, toothbrush it, see what happens. So you dig deep, but uh, this ground sucks, it's full of roots, so, alright, well, thanks for watching, get on to the next. And we're still at the house, another target. That's Philadelphia. Maybe PTC. Hmm, some sort of token. Cool. Alright, got something really nice here. I don't know if you can see. Let me try to get out of the sun, maybe. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's a nice pin brooch with a lovely rose in the middle of it. Still got the pin on the back. And somehow Poacher Antonelli is here. Coming up 75. So, it's pretty nice. It's like that one I found at that other house. Well, yours has stuff in it. Mine just has nothing in the middle. Yeah, it's pretty nice, though. I got another signal next to it I'm going to dig in a minute. Well, if old Poacher Antonelli doesn't take it, but... All right, stand by. We'll see what the other one is. All right, a scene. Part of this one. I don't know if you can tell, but it looks promising. Some sort of China coin. Or something. Great. I don't know. Doubt it's silver. Yeah. Another one of those Chinese coins. So we're back at the next hole, and uh, I got this little jobber. I don't know what it is. No, no. Come here. I need your shadow, stupid. Uh, I don't know. It's some kind of a handle to something. It's very ornate. Got a lot of designs on it. I don't know. Can I play poker? Did you just kick my shovel? What was the jerk on? What shovel? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's yeah, well, still. Fireplace poker, maybe. Could be. Pretty cool. I'm going to say it's a swashbuckling uh, sword holder. Stab, 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 stab. Stab, 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 stab. Oh. Uh, so I'm at the next signal, and then uh, is a small cuff button. At first, I thought maybe it was going to be an Indian head or something because it was green, but it's just a plain. Doesn't seem like there's anything on it. We're going to try to clean all these up later, then take stills so you can actually see them maybe better, but we'll see. All right.
Hold on, stand by. Look at that baby. Kind of evil looking. Oh, it's supposed to be a bald eagle, but it looks like a demented gargoyle. All right, so we're done our hunt today from the old sea captain house. There's Pop Top Antonelli. Let's take a look, see at his treasures. Any kind of crap that he found. Uh, we got, uh, let's see his trash pile, a bunch of copper scraps, some shotgun shells, three shotgun shells. Pulley. What's on? Oh, what the hell is Pretty neat, stupid buckle. Oh, modern buckle. How many gray matters? Three. three. This thing, the Philadelphia token from something. Oh yeah, this is kind of cool. Probably a Chuck E. Cheese token, but... No, it's probably from Subway or something like that. It does look pretty cool. Toke in the pack. Yep, and then they got the, the China coin or Japanese. Japanese yen. It's a 5 yen. This thing really doesn't do much for macro. So, there's the button. Oh. There was a the good stuff. Four buttons. There's a military one there. Um, that one. is going to look cool cleaned up, the big one. Yeah, there's another one somewhere. I think he, I think he gave it to the homeowner. Yeah, I gave a couple buttons to the homeowner today. But what would you get? Like three or four quarters? A couple dimes. That's dimes. Dimes. Pennies. pennies. Nothing older than 68. That was the older, oldest one. That's what our Garrett pulled in today. Let's check out the mine lab take, shall we? Oh, here we oh go. Oh, my God. Look at all this treasure. We got some gray matters. Uh, a bunch of sinkers today. Um, yeah, he's going to take all of them. Oh, you forgot one. Uh, let's see. I got, like, I don't know, what, six pennies, three nickels, two dimes, five quarters. Uh, some kind of little um, makeup case. It did have glass on this side and makeup there. It's modern, kind of newer. Uh, this piece of ornate surrounding, I don't know. It's copper. Got a Zippo. Zippo. Uh, from the Navy, I asked the homeowner if he served on the USS Dull Green. DDG 43, it looks like an LPD, but uh, he did not, and it still works, so nifty nifty for me. So we got the trash pile, uh, odds and ends, got some tops, uh, shotgun shell modern, you know, the typical garbage, but there wasn't that much trash today, so I was happy. I got this thing. I don't know, it's a top of something. He thinks it's a fireplace poker. It could be. Still cool, though. Got belt buckle. Or some kind of buckle. If anybody knows what kind of buckle, let me know. Uh, so one, two. Uh, a couple buttons. I gave two buttons to the homeowner. Chuck gave one. Uh, that one, I'll have to clean up. Uh, we got the pendant thing with the little onyx or whatever stone that is in the middle. It's kind of cool to let it sit and see what we get out of it. Like topaz or something. Right? Yeah. I really like this brooch. It really has a really nice uh, rose in the middle of it. Pin still on the back. It's very cool. I don't know the year on it or anything, but, you know. Spoon part or silverware. It's heavy, it's probably pewter. Hot rocks, there's a bunch of these. And uh and another buckle too, I don't know where it went. But it was modern anyway, so alright, well that was it. Uh, hopefully we'll get back there again. Uh you know to try again maybe after a good rain because the ground was really hard and dry today, so We'll see how it is. So, uh, from Locked and Loaded, thanks for watching. And join us on our next adventure. I'll be there. With this dumbass. What? Hmm? Alright. Later, Gators.